Sustainability. We hear the word everywhere, but what does this mean in the tourism context? Is it just about the environment? Or is there more to it? According to key experts, sustainable tourism can be seen as a positive approach intended to reduce the tensions and friction created by the complex interactions between the tourism industry, visitors, the environment and the communities which are host to holidaymakers. The most common way to understand sustainability in the tourism context is to consider what is known as the triple bottom line. The triple bottom line is about measuring the impact of tourism on the economy, on society and cultures, and on the environment. These impacts can be positive or negative, short term or long term. Tourism brings positive economic impacts, including income from tourist expenditure, employment and investment in tourist and other facilities. But there are some negative economic impacts too. For example, tourists are often willing to spend money when on holiday. Prices rise to meet what tourists are willing to pay and things become too expensive for local people to live there. Another negative is the opportunity cost of spending money on tourist facilities and services rather than on things for the local community, such as schools and hospitals. Even when tourism creates employment, the jobs are often seasonal and low paid. As well as impacts on the economy, tourism has impacts on the culture, society and way of life of the host communities. Tourists often want to learn about local culture and traditions and are often keen to meet local people. As a result, locals are encouraged to keep their heritage and traditions alive. However, tourism can also bring noise, overcrowding, antisocial behaviour and, in extreme cases, can cause tensions between tourists and host communities. In terms of the environment, tourism can be the reason for protecting natural areas, can raise awareness of environmental issues and, as we will see later in this section, can encourage tourists to adopt pro-environmental behaviour. Unfortunately, Tourism also has the potential to harm the environment by contributing to air and water pollution, littering and overuse of natural resources. It is important to appreciate that the three types of impacts, economic, sociocultural and environmental, are interrelated. What happens in one affects the other two. For this reason, sustainable tourism requires consideration of all three. So, we've explained sustainable tourism, but whose responsibility is it? The answer is everyone's. From an industry perspective, we need to think of better ways to design tourism products, services and facilities. From a government perspective, policies and legislation should prioritise sustainability. From a community perspective, we need to ensure that development considers the needs of both tourists and communities. Finally, as tourists, we need to make informed and sustainable choices and behave responsibly. So, you can see that sustainability is a complex issue that requires a triple bottom line approach. Sustainable tourism doesn't just happen. Sustainable products, services and facilities are the result of systematic planning, management and evaluation. It's not easy. It has to be driven by dedication and commitment.